A candlelight vigil on the beach tonight for a man missing after a Memorial Day canoe trip. Family and friends turning to prayer after rescuers searched for hours. Good evening, I'm Alice Gaynor. Maurice and Christine are off tonight. While well, search crews will resume the search in the morning, they're looking in the waters off Norwalk, Connecticut. CBS 2's Lou Young reports the man was with friends when he slipped underwater. Search team suspended their recovery operations at last light this Memorial Day, eight hours after the missing man went into the waters off Norwalk. His friends gathered with candles and prayer near the boat ramp where he left on what was supposed to be a brief fishing excursion. One woman, too distraught to appear on camera, said the victim and his fishing buddies were excited to be getting out on the water. Since last night they were saying we're going fishing, today's, you know, tomorrow's Memorial Day. We're off because he's a very hard worker and we're just going to go out there and fish and have a little fun. Horrified onlookers at nearby Calf Pasture Beach say they felt helpless as it happened. Just help, help. And then so everyone rushed over to the pier, uh, you know, the people here at the beach. And then the lifeguard came over and then they started using the walkie-talkie and then the police came. Three men survived. A 40-year-old married father of two vanished. They said that the canoe got full of water and it turned over. And all the guys came up at once, and one of the guys saw him, but and he was yelling to the guy, help me, help me, like, help me, I don't want to drown. The little boat was overloaded. There were no strong swimmers in the group and only two life jackets. The water is 58 degrees. The police say it simply shouldn't have happened. If you have a two-man canoe, you should have two men and not four. I think you should have a life preserver for each party. They should be wearing that life preserver. The search boats will return at first light with their side scan sonar and dive teams. The missing man's friends say they will return as well for confirmation of their worst fear. We're in Norwalk, Connecticut. Lou Young, CBS 2 News.